Okay, we have a demo here from Industrial Control for the LMI Gocator. We're just looking at a simple piece of rail. You can see on the bottom down here we're going to have a laser line with a camera for the Gocator. And in the background you can see the profile of that part. As I move that part forward and there's a little piece of plastic put on there, you can see that the profile really changes with that part. Move it back, now it's seeing the rail. So if we look at what's going on here, um, we can see this profile. Again, I'll move it up to the plastic. I can see that Z dimension there on the plastic. And there's the rail again. I can go to side to side a little bit. So at this point we'll go and we'll show you what the measurements say. We look at the measurements, it's pre-calibrated to millimeters. So I've got some height tools in there, some width tools. and We can actually see what those measurements are in millimeters. So if we come back, we'll just show you a couple of them. If we click on the first measurement, we'll see that we've got a feature box that's going to pick up those edges and then the calibrated tabletop on the bottom and we're going to get a measurement. So that one right there, 25.3 roughly in millimeters. So if we go to the next one, we threw a couple other ones in there. This one right here is just doing the other peak of the rail. And again, that one right there is 30.14. If we go to the next one, this one right here is basically measuring the bottom of the rail as it refers to the table, which is uh, 2 millimeters, 2.1 millimeters. And if we go to the next one, we'll do some peaks to peaks. Now here, for the width, we told those feature boxes that we wanted on the, on the right feature box, number 2, we told it that we wanted the, uh, uh, to grab onto the left side Feature number one, which is on the left, we told him to go to the right. So I can control if I want the peaks or if I want right or left in that feature box and it will snap to it. Gives us a mention. So if we go to the next one, there's the outside. So that's the actual width of the rail. So with this profile now, we can go ahead and move this on a robo cylinder or have the part go by, check different spots as we go along just to verify. And since it's pre-calibrated, Measurement is always going to be the same right out of the box. So good, good example where this does a much better job than a machine vision.